Hello everyone and welcome back to BlenderDiplom.com. I'm Gottfried Hofmann and in this 2.8 Alpha 2 preview video I'd like to show you a few of the most recent interface changes. That is, the icons for the properties editor are now aligned to the left and we have now a split between settings for the render engine and output settings. Let's start with the icons. You can just like before click on them and you will be guided to the corresponding tab or you can use control and mouse wheel to switch between them. And if you're lacking the space here for all the icons then you can do middle mouse and drag just like before and this will move back and forth here. Up there next to the properties well to the editor type selector we now have the icons we had beforehand we had in a line directly below it and the pinning icon is now at the right before and it was on to the left. So it, by the way if you don't know what pinning is if I for example have this data here and I click this pin then if I select anything else the data will stay so it will still show me the data of the cube even though I had the lamp selected. By the way let me unpin this and now you see it switched over to the lamp data. Anyways that's about the icons. That change isn't that big. A bigger change is that if I go here now, we now have the render settings a little bit cleaned up. There is less in here. Like here, for example, you see for the Eevee, you see mainly things about like how Eevee looks. Like, uh, do we have bloom? Do we have depth of field? And the same thing for cycles. It's about like, do we use freestyle or um, what are our light paths? Are we how many bounces do we have? Um, do we want to clamp anything? Do we, do we have caustics? All those questions are um, in render settings, just like before. But you might be missing things like uh, what is my output resolution? Um, what frames do I want to render? Or um, what do I want to actually output? Which is the file? What is the format? Is it a PNG or is it a video? Well, all those things that are related to what's getting written to disk, also things like metadata or whether I want multi-view or stereoscopy, those are all settings now for the um, here output. And here in the render settings, um, we have things that define the look of our image. And that also includes color management. Beforehand, that was a setting for the scene, but it's now a color man management now is a setting for the render, which I think makes a lot of sense. So this is it, uh, the latest uh, UI update. Do you like the changes? Would you prefer them to be back on top or do you like them here to the left? What do you think about the separation between render and um, output? Please leave your comments below this video here on YouTube. And by the way, if you want to make a splash, that means if you want your artwork to be featured as the splash screen, the official one for Blender 2.8 beta, then go to devtalk.blender.org. Oh, I'll link this in the description. Bye.